And welcome back. Another War of Ice event. Hope everybody's having a good week. This is map two for the Southern Aggression. And we have a conquest, or at least the rules for that. Again, they only have two points active. Uh, the ones that are closest to spawn, the uh, middle point is inactive. And it is a forest stream map. 284 on the server pop, 144 for the CSA versus 139 for the Union. So pretty even teams there. Take a look at the CSA team first. So they have HD and the Harkness. And Rob, let's see, then we've got HL under KMGG and TJ. Let's see, 4th Georgia under Clarky. 20th Georgia under Old Bill. Let's see here, we've got MVP leading the IVB. PB is led by James. And we've got, uh, let's see. Oh, Liam is leading the Force Georgia. I apologize. And we've got uh, Connor leading the first VA. Um, let's see. 20th Georgia's in here. Who is their officer? Is it Canada? Is leading the 20th Georgia. Hello, TJ. Oh, it's old Bill. I said old Bill. Okay. I'm losing my mind. SR is also in here under Tall Gray. Lightburn is leading the 4th West Virginia. And Rix is leading the 79th, New York Highlanders. Alright, let's see. Then let's take a look at this Union team. Hey, do they have an Artie crew? It's be very silly to have an Artie crew. Uh, Mattis, he might just be taking the gun. Uh, the, the, the pistol. Let's see, but on the uni team, we got Parker here, leading the NYV. Knight leading the 8th PA. Let's see, we got 2nd U.S. Sharpshooters under Brooke. We got Nightbreeze leading the 2nd U.S., along with Mr. Trooper. Let's see here, we've got 9th Corps. Who's leading 9th Corps? Who is leading 9th Corps? We'll come back to 9th Corps in a second. We got Jacobson leading the 42nd PA, 19th Indiana, under Mr. Joker. And let's see, so we need to find 9th Corps. Let's see, 9th Corps, 9th Corps, where art thou? Big Chungus is leading 9th Corps. Okay, there we go. I don't know how I missed him. I think that's everybody. If I missed you, I do apologize. Again, you see the two points are activated, and... Um, here we go. Both teams are kind of spreading out here. I think the... Uh, this will be an interesting one. We'll see how this goes. Looks like we got the initial fight starting to develop here at the NYV kind of lining up here in this central position off of this uh, snake fence. I think this is pretty good positioning here by... Is that Parker leading him? Yes, it is Parker leading him. I always screw it up when Parker's leading. It'll be Hanson or somebody else and I'll still say Parker. Killed him. Fucking this is a pretty good advantage here. The CSA, if they want to, can kind of... They've got a lot of concealment here with this woods here. They can uh, maneuver back and jump out in another location fairly easily. The Union has a little bit more of a uh, problem in that regard. Um, we'll see how they go. Although right now, this force right here... I mean, there's no way for them to know this, but... Um, they could uh, push forward if they want, and Nightbreeze is doing that. So let's see where he goes. And yeah, take this uh, uh, this corner back. right here. Which again, this is uh, for map perspective. Where are Burnside's? The back side of Burnside's. At the ready. Buying my company. Come here at the ready. Company, take aim, regulars, cross the river directly west. Take aim west. Cross it down the line. Aim, aim low, aim low, aim Set bomb it. smoke. Fire! Nice. Check. Uh, uh, you do Damn. not hear dead people. Dead people are not real. Uh, there is no such thing as a dead person. <laughs> And we do have a wide flanking maneuver here by Mr. Liam here. And he has a pretty good line to be. Although, uh, 19th Indiana might have seen him and been moving, just maneuvering to stop him. I'll we'll have to keep an eye on that one. Red face. 
Alright, so it looks like HL is maneuvering down here, trying to intercept the sharpshooters. And they're gonna charge him out here. And this will allow the HL, they press forward here a little bit. Which I think they will as they clean up, get up on this corner, and kind of unhinge the uh, second US. Get on the snake fence, boys. On the snake fence, boys. Don't pursue. On the snake fence. Two to three, per. Hey, they're in the snake fence, northeast. Yeah, if the HL, if they get a little bit more support here. Uh, is somebody moving up to help him? Yeah, if HD moves up to support him, um, they might be able to unhinge this part of the defense here and kind of scout around this back side and have a pretty good run up to B if they want to. But they need a little bit more to punch through. Second, you, the pretty much the you know 22 right here. A good opportunity if they want to take advantage of it. The Union, you can see, is kind of... So right now, the Union is playing a very static defense line here in the center, which is not a bad idea. But, um... Although, with the one exception of this unit over here, who is this? 19th Indiana. I'll have to keep an eye. They're moving forward pretty far here. But you do have an infill team. Is this 79th? No, it's HD Queerdath here. I've seen him do this before. He is probably going to be able to decap here and unhinge the entire Union defense here. And that will send the Union likely into a panic mode and give a great opportunity here for the CSA to move up and secure these kind of hard points up here and put the Union on the back foot. We will see. Hold them off, boys. Hold them off. Yeah, shoot, shoot them off. <laughs> Get out of here! This is our fence! Let's go, let's go. Get out of here, Louisiana! Move it back! Yeah! -huh. This is ours! Yeah! -huh. Yeah! -huh. Ow! It is always important to update your SGLI. Um, you do not want to, you know, leave your loved ones out from all that good money, especially when it's tax free when you're on deployment. Uh, 400k, Copy. not to laugh at. Left face, left face, left you don't want it to go to your ex-wife. So now Liam here is going to try another intercept move through the corner. Again, this is a much harder defense here. Now you see the entire Union has unhinged itself. The CSA should be rushing forward right now and securing these hard points. Like this right here, this whole section right here is extremely defensible. And you're going to just box the Union in and put major pressure on them. So the CSA, I would say, needs to put move forward here and really box in the uh, Union here. They could take a lot of advantage of it. These guys can't really move up too far. Like, there's a lot of... Again, I wish there was more uh, pressure there. But um, it's not. So, you know. So the, look, the entire Union line... Well, these guys stayed. So they saw that these guys moved back here. But yeah, you could move up and secure this whole section right over here. With these guys over here. And really put pressure on this line here and kind of collapse it. But the Union is being very reactive. The only Union I've really seen make a maneuver has been 19th, and frankly, even that was not uh, that robust. I mean, I would, I probably would have done the same thing he did, but um, yeah, there's so much of the field that's open here. So, like you see, Liam has gotten back here, and he's going to be a thorn possibly in the side. And I don't even think Kuridoth got killed. He's he's sitting right back here in this bush, waiting for the next opportunity. Come on, Robinson. 
Uh, okay, somebody did move up here. IVB. And they got they got an opportunity here to tangle with the NYB. Let's see how they do. Use the cover. Don't just load out in the open. There you go. See now they rotate here. Look at what they got here. You put another unit right over here, and you got a nice little fort that is not easy to take out. They need a little bit of help. This should be more than just IVB right here. I'm pretty sure you can't go in buildings in this event. Fine. If you can, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, good maneuver here by First VA. Look, they got some nice flanking shots here into the NYV here. So good positioning here by Connors, guys. Now there is a maneuver going on down there. Uh, let's take a look on this side of the field. This is always the difficulty of... Now here we go. So here we got, now, again, Joker. He's being the most aggressive on the Union. Is trying to make a maneuver here. He's got some in front of him. This tiny L... This is not tiny. They got an element back here. They got this element of HD. Along with some CQB guys back here. I don't think I mentioned CQB on the roll call. I do apologize. So. We'll see here if Rob here can stop this 19th Indiana attack. So, uh, 19th Indiana was able to deal with that pretty easily. And they've got a free line to, uh, that point now. And you see IVB well, here is tangled, so uh... Yeah, we are. Good with work. a pretty big charge here, which I missed. And it looks like IVB is just about wiped. But, uh, they were in a pretty big fight that I missed. Again, I, I would have liked to see a little bit more support forward to them, but, uh... Oh, there's a big fight in the woods over here. Get 19th Indiana, good job. Skirting the, uh, back of the, uh, the field there. Oh, yeah, there they Cucumbers. And there is Mr. Joker taking hey, down the flag. Now this is the time for the Union to press the attack. Although I would deal with this again. This did I view? Is this Ivy B came back here? Let's see who came back over here. Yeah. Oh, and 20th Georgia here. This is a really strong position here because A, it's very defensible, and you got a straight line to B. Um. It really fucks with the Union. Still got cleared out there, waiting for his opportunity. Joke is going to have to, uh, they've taken both points, so that we'll see if that gets him back in the battle. Again, the problem is these guys did not fix these elements, and they let them slip away, and that, uh, means Joker's going to just have to retire here. The uh, inability to fix those elements here has, has led to the loss of that point very quickly here. So if they pull off, think, hey, they just took the point, you know, hey, you know what they're going to do? They're going to come back. So what do you do? You charge into them as they're retreating. See, now they're moving forward, but it's a little bit too late now. Five fouls left. Five fouls left. See, here, I, I, I don't know why you're not making a... Well, I guess they're maneuvering, but... Where the hell did IVB go? Oh, they were, they went back to point. See, like I said, it, it's, it's when they take the point, it kind of causes panic, and it's it's a great opportunity to seize new positions here. And you see that seizure really uh 
Changed the equation quite a bit. There's log. There's a log on the left here. It's hard to see guys in the woods here. Still got Joker there as a threat over on the side. He's not wrong. Behind, behind! We gotta go! We gotta go! We gotta go! We gotta go! Uh, it's too late. Good attack by the HL. Cut off the retreat here for the second U.S. The 22. And they are gonna swallow up those poor guys. Without too much difficulty. Nice charge there by the HL. And there was another element that came in. Oh, HD came in from this side as well. Very good charge there by those two elements there. I only caught one part of it. But again, here, now you, you're forward here. Fortunately, you know, I've got the Georgia boys here holding here. Um, I would even move up here to this corner where the NYV is. I think the NYV's got to take a better position. They're going to just rake that line. Nice flag down. Yep. Keep lighting them up. Yeah, that position is not sustainable for the Georgia boys. Yep, and off they go. Good job, guys. Good job. Well done. Nice hold. So it looks like there was a charge against 42nd that I missed. Um, but now we're about even on the battle. We'll see. 26 minutes remaining. Uh, some aggressive actions by both teams. We'll see how this goes. We got 19th Indiana back there, kind of waiting for the opportunity. Now, as far as the CSA goes, they haven't made this this attack yet, but I, I would rather enjoy, or I'd rather like the route down here. Again, you can come all the way down here, I believe, if you want to. Um, down an attack and up here, kind of taking the Burnside route. And kind of come down to where Career Death is, and just shoot up. And then, you know... Oh, stuff here on this wall, because the attack is probably going to come from in front of you. You know, it might come from the side. But uh, you could also post up on this wall here. Actually, you know, you, you kind of put it in an L shape right here. You adjust it as you need to. And you fight off who's ever coming up against you. Oh, we got an interception, though. Ninth Corps has come up to, along with 40 seconds. To stop the HL here. About face at the sprint. About face at the sprint. Face, boy, face. Oh, this is gonna hurt. TJ says to get out of there. That's probably the right decision. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. Yeah, we didn't win. Shit, dude. There's still a bunch of them up there. Oh, no, get the flag. That flag. He kind of took it in a little bit too shallow. You, you use use the length of the field here. You know, get get down here, get into this. Same thing. Use those. Use that deep infill route. Force them to spread the field. Same thing for the. Uh, well, right now the problem for the CSA is you've got uh, a decent amount of forces guarding A, which is necessary because you still have. Joker out here is a major threat. So until they deal with Joker, which I don't even know if they're aware he's back here, um, you can't really pull too many forces off to do an attack. Let's see if Joker here can. Uh, he's got he's got a decent amount of force in front of him. You know he gets a surprise though. Violence on the objective. Could work. That's what you want to hear. Oh shit is a good thing you want to hear from your enemy. USA, USA. USA, USA. 
Bring shit out of the USA. Friendly. Oh, press D, Terrell. Press D. All right. Oh, what the hell happened here? Oh, did they get intercepted? I don't know what happened here. Why these guys? I guess they're back here as a flag hold. No, we're still. They don't. They don't outnumber us. They don't outnumber us right now. Let's go for decap. I believe in us. Let's go. We're good. We're good. Um. Yeah. Well, I think that's the right call. Oh, you need men to go with you, though. You're talking to nobody. Your guys left you. I had to break down a command there. I don't know if Modal was a command or not, but nobody listened to him, so. If he wasn't in command, he shouldn't be saying anything. If he was in command, they should have gone with him, so. Somebody fucked up there. Rock for us to get on. Three forms, so uh, CSA has a slight advantage here in tickets, but really we got 22 minutes left. It's not much. And right now, yeah. Well, we got a maneuver back here. Who is this? This looks like a Liam. Uh, you know, again, take kind of take this road here, this high-speed avenue of approach, and just shoot on up. Decap it. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. Now, the nice thing is, they didn't lose that flag here, so they're able to get their forces back. Um, although, it looks like uh, Connor, I think, knows there's still a problem out here. He's kind of on the hunt. Uh, is there anything else going on? So, again, I think Liam is... is this is not bad, so he's got his guys in concealment. He's going up to look. That's not a bad idea. Um, but I think... Uh, I think he got spotted here by Parker. Yeah, I think we are, yeah. And that is not going to be good. I'll keep an eye on that, but uh, let's see. So again, the CSA has an opportunity, I think, to move up and kind of see some key ground here in the center they want. In fact, let's see who's doing this right now. Fourth West Virginia is... Uh, they probably need some additional support. HL and maybe this guy right here. First VA. He was not able to find his target. Kind of support that center position. Or another pretty strong position here is this, this corner right here. You see it's kind of multiple fences. You got the stone wall right here and it's right overlooking B points. You know, if they attack over here, it's, you know, a decent amount of open ground. they got to cover multiple obstacles, so it's a pretty strong position to hold. You can see you've had 42nd here right occupying it. So, yeah, Parker found uh, the fourth, and Liam had to get out of there, so good eyes on Mr. Parker. East PA watching it back here. First. Yeah, yeah, another. Nope, is that uh, attack going on today? Let's see. Oh. I think it is. Let's see how it goes this time. Joker on your left. Serpentine. Oh, nice! Come here, 
Decent angle of attack here from 19th, a little bit off off angle. And CSA goes to engaged. Come here, flag! Get the flag! Get the flag! And let's see, they're gonna try to take uh, down. a point. Down. Get out of the fucking way, boys. Yeti, you're gonna tap F and run. Tap F and run. On the road, 19th. On this line. On this line. Get it started. Get it started and pull back. Get it started and pull back. Run, Yeti. Run. Yeah, dude. Hey, Joker. Joker. They do start at a. They do spawn to the southwest west. They come down the road behind you. Behind you. Behind you. A very key attack here by Rob, trying to save the point. We'll see if he can do it. I don't think he had quite enough. Oh, but it was enough time for uh, HL to come in. Very good maneuvering here by both of these elements to uh, save the A point. They're still going to lose a little bit of ticket balance. Get the flag. But not too much. Again, this comes down to fixing. None of the union did any fixing operation. They're too far away to fix. By fix, what do I mean by fix? All right, fix is a doctrinal term. It means to basically thinking about it. You're occupying an enemy to keep him in a position. You're fixing him where he is. So that means you, you know, engaging him. And if he pulls off, he's going to lose a lot by pulling off. So you're keeping him. You're fixing him. You're keeping him where he is. Why does that matter? Well, you know, if if you let them, you know, just you know, fall back without any problems. You see what happens. You just have 19th and the end. It gets swallowed up here. So, you know, just shooting on a line. Oh, it feels good. It's great. Oh, they ran away. Why are they running away? Oh, the point is, maybe we should go and charge them. You know, because either, you know, they're going to give them our back. You know, they're going to give their backs to us and we can shoot them in the back. Or, you know, they turn to face us and that gives more time for the point, which is what you need. Because that gives you more morale. You know, it, there's a huge difference between decapping a point and... And, and capping the other point. Just keep in mind, when they cap this, you know, they decap and recap, not only do they have to get the other flag down and the other flag up, the morale state is a lot more, too. It's, you know, it's 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 a lot more morale you'll lose from having two flags down than just one, so. Union is ahead right now. Mostly, you know, 19th and the end is doing a lot of good work to make that be what it is to be honest with you good some good reactions by the union as well but I, I i think you can't just sit back here when something like that happens when the flag goes keep in mind what they're going to do they're all going to go and head back to the thing so what do you got to do you got to keep them there because you need to give whatever unit it is on that point time as much time as you can get as much time as you can buy them and you know, fucking you know okay you know tons of nerds on here lord of the rings you know we got to buy frodo some time to you know, toss the fucking ring. You're fixing the eye of fucking what? What? what um, Sauron, the big fucking eyeball thing. That was a good shot. Okay, Sergeant. Oh, okay, I'm right behind you, so we'll hit you first. Somebody get that Rambo going from right to left. Left of me. Left of me. Uh, they're moving uh, to the left. Yeah, they're coming up on the left. Yeah, they're coming on the left. 
Left oblique, behind the log pile. The blue flag. Behind log pile. Recover. Recover. Nice. Let's say the 22 boys have been dealing with a lot. All right, here we go. Again, look how wide this field is. Here comes HD. Look how wide they're going. Trees kind of my way. I can't really get a good look at second US is shooting. Ah, dang it. Now watch from this side. Independent fire. Aim for the smoke, boys. Smoke the east. So the Union is behind by a decent amount. They're going to have to figure out a way to put some pressure on. Now, again, you could you could assault with these two elements here. This is a decent force here, but it's not impossible to punch through. And you could also... Um, yeah, I'd say, I'd say that side is the side to punch through. And you kind of keep some guards over here on this side. Oh, my feet are wet. Oh, my butt. Still hanging out in that bush, waiting for uh, night to get bored. So the thing about the woods is it kind of kills your visibility. So, if, you know, if I was a union here... Look at our look at your options here. So you could come up, you know, around this. You know, you're already there. So say I was uh, NYB Ninth Corps. Come back around here, around this house, back over here. A very low visibility. Boom into the corn. Pop out over here. Boom, 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 boom. Hit the point. Completely bypass that. You could send the NYB to do that. It sounds like a nice little cab raid, in fact. Or a nice New York attack, one or the other, you know. But again, it's a very good infill route if you want to take it. I think I said the CSA was ahead, now the Union's ahead. I don't know why I said that. I'm freaking dumbass. So, the CSA is the one that needs to figure out something to do. Oof! Get the flag, get the flag, See, get the flag. nice volley at close lanes left, of charge left, there. Left, Very good job, and great job by 2nd U.S. to aid Dude, their buddies. And 2nd U.S. sharpshooters did as well. Very good job here reform, for mutual reform, support. Reform, reform, reform. I'd still make that move, though. I don't, even, don't want to be close, but um, as far as the CSA goes, um, that route we talked about a few times. Now, they've also done some, you know, Fort George has made some moves over there, but never in force. Never with enough. Guys, good counter charge. Now, here's HD. I think he's, again, this is too shallow, in my opinion. I wouldn't stop here. Just, just, just there's no, there's nothing you gain by fighting this. You gotta try to infill behind them and take that flag down. That's where you're gonna catch up. You're not gonna cause enough damage here to really matter at all. Yeah, right now it's going to be very tough for the CSA, but the Union, again, if they launch an attack, they might have some good opportunities here. They've built up some strength on this side over here. 
They could try to push through it. Um, it would be tough, but it's an option. Here comes 19th in the end again, being the most aggressive uh, unit on both teams, I think. On Jewish! And having a lot of success for their efforts. Take that! Yankee Doodle Vic. I am born! Again, a lot of pressure here. If they go in A, 19th Indiana here, they could sweep up this line here and get to A probably before these units react because they're engaging these guys. So if these guys don't see it in time, if you press forward right now as a union, you probably have a clear line to uh, A point. And you could, if you get it down here with this amount of time left, you probably win instead of just tying. Now that now the CSA is starting to move back here. Yeah, 19 of the end, it just wasn't enough by itself to do it, but look how much was back here for the Union. Now you got these guys as well. Put some pressure on. Ah, oh, my throat's getting dry. I am out of water. <laughs> Built to going. But they were all aiming at you, sir. Six minutes remaining. CSA is getting close to taking losses. Some opportunities here. Now for the CSA, um, HD here, Rob has the best opportunity. He links in here with Career Death. He, and, you know, and if, um, oh, this is a, um, look at this problem here. What's the problem with this positioning here? Why is this, why is this uh, not great positioning? Let me know in the comments. What could be the problem with this positioning? What could it be? Right in front of us to the southwest. Make an L. No. No, it is not. Up and over. Up and over, about face to the southwest, the independent fire to the southwest, into the snake fence corner. Crouch the load, crouch the load. Let's look up and see if I see any big attack going off. Hey, you guys want to out of yes, I do. This is dragged on too long. It's getting too expensive. Right you can have my SGLI. I don't care anymore. You're dead. Right. No, don't do it, Melon. Don't do it. Come back. No, Rambo. Run back! Well, you only get paid out if you die. Well, you know. So Knight was able to stop this little maneuver here from HD, and I, to be honest with you, Great Ed, I don't know why he shot from there. Instead of just trying to go for B, or to take him out. That was a little bit of a mistake by HD there. Kind of blew their opportunity. Looks like the Union is going to be happy to sit on this line, and they're ahead on tickets. So that's fine, but again, to win, you got to get the enemy on taking losses. So you only got 330 left. Can you do that by shooting? Maybe? I 
I guess they're gonna charge at two minutes, which you know. Is that enough time? It might be. I think it will be. That's probably the right amount of time. Once more, 19th Indiana is in the lead. They've been there the whole game. Spam you. All right, here comes the next slide. It is HL, along with, I think, 79th in the mix as well. Oh, wait a second. Do we have somebody else? Oh, we've got this element down here. Run away! No. Second U.S. will knock out the fourth West Virginia there without too much difficulty. And the U.S. is making a pretty good push go, here. Go for decap! Go for decap! Preparar para la carga. We'll see here if this final uh, defensive line by Fort Georgia can hold it. This element here needs to push up. Got distracted by the nonsense. Go, go, go. Um, Raleigh Trooper's got him moving, though. He got him moving pretty fast. Where's the rest, though? What are you guys all doing back here? Flag down, somebody pick it up. I'll pick it up, whatever. Yep, got a little bit distracted, a little bit disaggregated, and, um... That'll probably do it we, for okay. the shooting attack. Okay, I'm getting stabbed. I'm dead. Can't get distracted by the nonsense. You gotta go in together. Not just charge at the first thing you see. Know what the objective is and go after it. And they did get him down to taking the losses, though, which was the objective. So now the Union needs to pull off and fall back and uh, not take any more losses because they took a decent amount of casualties right there. So these guys here are, need to fall back. That's 15 tickets there. That could be uh, quite devastating. I don't think it'll put them onto uh, taking losses, but. And yeah, they're getting back. That'll be a close Union victory here. Um, I didn't think the CSA played bad. I, I, you know, it was some good maneuvers there. I think they didn't put enough pressure on the flanks when they were open. Um, Union team, really, I'll, I'll be honest, 19th thing in it. I don't want to say carried it, but, um, they were the reason, I think, in my view. Because you can see on that, uh, it's a very close match, and I think they were the difference, so. Um, uh, not that the rest of the team did bad. I, I think they were a little bit too passive. I would have liked to see more attacks like that last attack. Um... A little bit more often, but um, it was enough for them to win, so there you go. Anyway, that's it for uh, TSA. Um, I think we're starting HDC of tomorrow for the regular season, so uh, that'll be the first start of the new season for HDC, so hope to see you guys for that one. Anyway, y'all have a good Friday, and take it easy.